In this video, I'm going to show you how to take a Photoshop file and turn it into a DVD menu in Adobe Encore. Now, what I have here is just a simple menu that I've already created in Photoshop. And as you can see, I have four different layers. I have my background layer, and then I have three button layers, Play, Extras, and Select Chapter. Now, for each layer that's a button, you want to turn it or convert it to a smart object. In order to do so, you would right-click the layer and convert to smart object. And then, once you've done that, you want to save your Photoshop file and open Adobe Encore. Now that you have Adobe Encore open, you want to select New Project. And it'll bring you to the New Project window and give this a uh, DVD menu for a name. And then your location, you can select whichever folder you want it to save into. And for this project, we'll do DVD with NTSC. And we'll select OK. Next, what we're going to do is come over to this project window here. I'm going to right click and select Import Asset. And I'm just going to select one of the video files that I have here. And then I want to select Import as Menu. And I'll import my menu. Now, the menu is only half completed. You have created the smart objects, but you have yet to actually convert them into workable buttons. Now for this video, I'm only going to show you how to link a single video to the play button so that you can select play and real basic stuff. In other videos, I'll show you how to create chapters and link different videos to different scenes and create submenus. So in your play button here, I'm going to right click, select, and then select my layer, which is labeled play, and then I'll come up here to object and then convert to button or control B. You want to do this for all of your buttons and all of the objects that you have in this background. So say for instance you wanted the play button or you wanted this image right here to be a button that initiates the play sequence as well. Um, you would set that as a smart object in Photoshop and then convert that to a button and link a video to it. So once you've changed all of these into buttons, select the play button, and you can just go over here and grab your video and drag it right onto that play button. Select preview, and as you can see it'll give you a nice little preview window, and if you select play, it'll start playing your video. So that's it for this video. Uh, please subscribe and check back. There will be more videos on how to create an actual full DVD. Thanks for watching.